Hey guys, what's up? Abhijit here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this today's video, we will learn how to do a map zoom to a pinpoint location on the Google Maps using the Google Earth Pro. So for this, you need two applications, basically a Google Earth Pro and a second would be a video editor, any video editor for that matter. In today's video, I will be using Final Cut Pro. So let's first open the Google Earth Pro over here. As you can see, this is the Google Earth Pro. This is the interface that you are looking at. At. there are a few settings which you need to take care of before we begin so I'll just take you through those settings quickly so under Google Earth Pro if you are on a Mac you just go to preferences and go to navigation over here check the bottom two options that is automatically tint and enter the ground level and gradually slow the earth when rotating or zooming and over here you need to take care of this thing fly to speed should be between 0.100 to approximately 0.15 but uh, for battery smooth speed for the rotation i would keep it to 0.1000 and i hit ok and over here uh, under the view tab just check everything over here whatever i have checked make sure to have the same settings turned on and once this is done you need to specify the location in the search bar over here and hit enter and it will automatically create a movie for you let's just begin with this thing i will say empire state building over here i won't hit the enter because we need to record this thing to in order to record this thing you need to go to the tools under movie maker over here for select the place where you want to save your files so in my case i'll go to the desktop i have already made a folder uh, there is already an empire state building folder but i'll create a new one for the this tutorial all right so i hit create and file name i would give es and hit save make sure to save all the files inside this folder because we'll be using jpeg sequence image stacking technology so there will be multiple files over 1000 to 1200 files jpeg images over here you can uh, select the resolution that you want uh, for the best result uh, in the jpeg sequence 1080p or the hd is preferred with 60 frames per second you can also have your custom uh, size and frames per second the last option that is uh, 2160 4k is uh, advisable only if you are making a direct movie so the, the last option doesn't really work well with the uh, jpeg sequence uh, i tried it and it gets cropped so over here you come down to the file type and you select jpeg sequence you can also have png images but uh, i prefer jpeg because the quality is a little bit better and you can also choose to have mp4 file or m4 which would be the direct video file so if you need just a video file you don't want to edit it in any other software then uh, just hit the mp4 or the m4v but in this case i'll be going with the jpeg set the picture quality as high or maximum I, in this case i'll use high i'll hit the create movie button and over here since i have already mentioned the location i hit the search and once i have hit the search button you can see the globe is moving slowly slowly it will start moving and uh, it will go to the pinpoint location where we have mentioned that is the empire state building all the images all 1300 images you need to tweak a little bit of settings so firstly select all using command a and by default as you can see over here each image is of 4 seconds and we need to turn each image into one frame so that you get that buttery smooth animation so for that purpose you select all the images and over here double click and hit one and hit enter so the next step is to crop this uh, image so that you can hide the google earth watermark for that uh, you just simply go here and hit crop for the first image itself and you can drag this from top and bottom and the best settings that i have found for final cut is uh, top and bottom each 106 points 106 
so that's the best and done and also you need to scale your footage so over here the best setting is 124.5 percent so once this is done as you can see the watermark is gone and it fills the screen so just copy this using command c and select all the footages except the first one and then shift command v and you have all your video properties you can paste the attributes scale and crop so now as you can see the watermark is gone from all the images so that's it and your movie will be ready so i'll end this video with the final output and hope you guys like this video do give this video a big thumbs up if you really liked it and do subscribe to my channel for more such amazing content till then this is abhijit signing out bye bye